Yo, what's going on, guys? Rapid Plays here, and uh, we've done a we've done a couple videos away from yes, hello, Mr. Swaggins. Thank you for getting on to play War Thunder. But anyways, guys, we are back to Total War. As I was saying, we've been doing a little bit of Hoi Four and stuff recently on this channel. But we're back to Total War, and let's go slowing things down a little bit here. Today we are looking at the Disciples of Epidemac. I, I think that's how you say that. Um, this is the Kushite faction, and they are going against sword followers from the Bowie faction. And as we know, guys, sword followers are not just the run-of-the-mill infantry. These guys are extremely, extremely, extremely good for that middle-tier gameplay. And so we get to seriously see what these guys are like in battle. So if you guys are looking forward to this video and would like to see more of these comparisons in the future... Of course, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit that like and subscribe button, and here we are. We're going to watch this clash over here, because I think this is going to be an excellent depiction of how the battle is going to go. I think they maybe lost one guy. Yeah, two guys, the javelins there. So, not the best start there. They do not have javelin capabilities. So, these guys are just pretty much all sword and shield. But, as you can see right off the bat here... They are extremely good at what they do. They are slicing into these sword followers like it is nothing. Now, these guys are like a hot knife through butter right now. And these sword followers are already down to 87 men. Let me get that straight again, guys. Down to 87 men already. There are, look at how fast that number is trickling down. And we are in slow mo. That is crazy. These disciples are putting in work right now. I mean, come on. If you have lion skin or a lion head as your armor, I think it's pretty safe to say you're going to be doing pretty good in combat. Um, yeah, these guys are just ripping through these lines right now. These sword followers just honestly aren't really standing that much of a chance. But they are putting up a fight. But this fight is going to be futile. I mean, look at this. These guys, are their numbers are all pretty well high up still. This is the lowest one, 106. And that's because they're fighting a fight on two fronts. But if we, can we see how many kills this unit has? No, we can't. But, yeah. What's this plus button do? Oh, wait. Yeah, there it is. 54 kills. So, yeah. Like, these units are just eating up kills right now. 60 kills. What is this? 49. 49. 49, 54, 52, 51. So pretty much everyone is sitting right around 50 kills and probably right around 10 losses. So you're looking at a per loss ratio for a unit of 5 to 1. You're going to be getting 5 kills to 1 unit lost here. Against um, more of your like middle tier, what you'll find most of the time, infantry. So these this one unit here... I would say is worth about four to five sword follower units. Now let's just let's just think about that for a second. What I just said, this one unit could probably wipe out four to five sword follower units. That is a terrifying thing to think of. Yes, one of these units costs like twelve, just over twelve hundred gold, but I mean I think this unit is just that good um com like even with armored shotel warriors being there and armored shotel warriors are only like 30 gold more i almost like this unit more um the armored shotel warriors are extremely good i'm not taking that away from this armored shotel warriors at all but these disciples here are just as good if not better in my opinion um they are crazy good they're a pretty quick moving unit because they are very light melee infantry. So, with that being said, with them being very light melee infantry, they have massive shields to protect them from projectiles as well. So it's not exactly like they can just be skirmished down. Um, yes, of course, you could probably skirmish them down if you shot enough arrows. But that's something completely different. You would need four or five units to honestly probably skirmish these down to a point where they wouldn't be worth anything. So with that being said, guys, we're going to head over to Attila, check out that replay, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys all in that replay. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here, and 
Now we're looking at a completely different kind of unit here. Let's slow-mo things because axes are already flying in the air, butchering this unit. My goodness, am I happy that we caught that. But yeah, we're looking at different, a completely different kind of unit here in Attila. Um, yes, it's still a sorted infantry unit, but this unit has throwing axe capabilities, as you can see by what is about to absolutely strike into the side of this unit. Um, yeah, the, the throwing axes are absolutely insane. Um, the amount of dead core... Okay, the amount of dead bodies that are going to be laying on the ground from these axes is not something to just gloss over by any means. Um... This this is insane to me. How many kills that these axes get? Um, so we're looking at these noble sweeby swordsmen here, right? And my God, most of those units were losing at least twenty five men from just the opening axe throw. Just 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 put that into perspective for a quick second. Twenty five men to one axe throw you cannot tell me that that is not an insane number and not only is their axe capability incredible but these guys have very good long swords decent armor and pretty big shields so and these guys i think they're 720 gold um they're look as you can see here they're tier two they're not tier three um, so this is, this is a mid game infantry we're seeing and they're not going against some janky troops either. They're going against elite Nordic warriors and they are dicing these elite Nordic. Look at that ax throw. I mean, come on. Look at that. Like what? Look at the amount of men that that ax throw just, it just left a massive hole in the line there. That, that is insane. I, I'm sorry, but that is insane. The axes, the throwing axes in this game are crazy. If you if you can get a unit with throwing axes in Attila, that is like a game changer here. But anyways, getting back to these, uh, oh my god, getting back to the battle here. Um, so yeah. These uh, Noble Sweep Swordsmen, not only do they have that really good axe throw capability, but their sword play is also really good. Um, you're finding these guys picking up excellent kills for their deaths. Um, like this unit here has lost 30 men and has gotten 90 kills. So you're looking at a 3 to 1 kill death ratio here. Um, just, just I'd say, um, well this unit is like, what would that be? <laughs> Wait, does that, hold on, hold on, did I see that right? 125 kills and zero deaths. I mean, come on, guys. That is that is insane. And look at that axe throw there. I That unit hasn't even lost a guy yet. 143 kills. 150 kills, pretty much. And no deaths. Okay. I don't know if it's just because that unit hasn't seen much combat, but then how would they have 150 kills? That is insane to me. 150 kills and zero deaths? I I don't know, guys. I think this replay is definitely going to be going the way of Attila here. Those, uh... The Shotel um, unit that we reviewed earlier, those Disciples, I just don't think they can stand up to what we just witnessed here. That I feel like what we just witnessed is way better than anything that the should tell that those disciples could have brought. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I actually remember this part of the video. I think I tell these guys to charge downhill here, and I caught, I like kind of remembered it when I was doing the replay, or I, I kind of remembered seeing it when I did the replay. I think one of these guys does like a jump downhill attack on one of these guys. I'm not for sure though. Uh, I want to watch it to see if it's over here. Or is it this unit? I think it's this unit. There, 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 there. Uh, I think it's this unit. I think it's this guy right here. Does he do it? No, it's this guy. <laughs> he just ran over and tackled that guy. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Uh, I'm so happy I caught that when I was initially making this battle. But yeah, guys, so that's pretty much going to be this video here. These uh, Noble Sweepy Swordsmen are absolutely insane. Um, highly recommend using them. Their axe throw capability is so, so deadly. And on top of that, they are crazy good in melee. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more in the future, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. And ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all next time. Peace.